Hello everyone, welcome to the Crystally Recapped channel. The girl named Lily rides her bicycle through the streets of the city, searching for someone. Unexpectedly, stray dogs start chasing after her. The girl pedals faster, but the dogs continue the pursuit. We flash back to a recent past. Lily happily plays with her favorite dog, Hagen. Her mother moves to Australia, leaving Lily to live with her father, who works as a butcher. This man cannot stand animals. At night, he locks Hagen in the bathroom. The poor dog barks, and the girl tries to calm him down. Morning comes, and we see Lily slept in the bathroom with Hagen. Someone rings their apartment doorbell. It turns out, according to the law, all dog owners must pay taxes for them. The man refuses to do so. Lily runs away from home and hangs out with her friend, then goes to music school. She hides Hagen in the closet so he won't disturb, but the dog breaks free and interrupts the rehearsal. The head conductor gets angry and demands Lily be kicked out of the orchestra. On the street, Father finds her. He had been searching for her all day and even considered killing the police. The man threatens to send Hagen to a shelter. Lily begs her father not to do it. Then her father takes Hagen out of the car and leaves him in the middle of the road. He drives off with his daughter. Hagen runs after his owner. Lily cries and screams while her father presses harder on the gas pedal. Hagen is very scared. Cars chase around and he almost gets run over several times. Morning comes. Hagen howls sadly and drinks water from a dirty puddle. He sets out again to find his owner. Soon the dog learns to cross the road when the traffic light turns green. Hagen ends up in a market selling meat and sausages. The poor dog is very hungry and looks hopefully at the food. Another stray dog appears nearby. Hagen follows it and sees that there are many dogs here. They all scavenge for scraps thrown into the garbage bins. The dogs start barking. A vendor runs over and drives them away from his shop. All the dogs run away, but only Hagen remains howling sadly. The meat seller also dislikes animals, so he decides to punish Hagen for his audacity. He takes out a large knife and corners the dog. Hagen is saved by another stray dog. It grabs the man's pants, causing him to slip, and our hero manages to escape. He runs down the street with his new friend and ends up in a place where dozens of stray dogs live. It seems like his new home now. In the morning, several cars arrive at this place. These are hunters of stray animals. The dogs realize they are in great danger and scatter in different directions. Unfortunately, not all of them manage to escape. The hunters catch most of the dogs and drag them into their cars. Hagen tries to escape, but soon finds himself cornered. Then he licks the hand of one of the hunters to show he's not aggressive. However, the men are indifferent to this. Hagen is saved once again by his new friend, and they manage to escape from the hunters. When the dog runs through the streets of the city, he is noticed by another stray. He hides Hagen and doesn't give him away to the hunters. He also manages to save several other dogs. The stray decides to keep Hagen for himself. He treats him with scraps of food and makes him a leash out of rope. Meanwhile, Lily's father takes her to music school and asks the conductor to give her another chance. Another rehearsal begins. The girl can't play due to nervousness, so she sits on her bike and sets off to search for Hagen. She puts up posters around the city with information about her missing dog and loudly calls out her friend's name. In the evening, it starts raining. Lily goes to her acquaintances from the music school and confesses that she's looking for Hagen. One of the boys tries to support her. It seems that Lily really likes him. She even gets jealous of him talking to another girl from the orchestra. The next day, the stray sells Hagen to the owner of a local restaurant. They tie him to a post in the basement. Besides Hagen, there are several other dogs there. They all bark loudly but cannot break free. The restaurant owner shows his dogs to a man interested in dog fights. He looks at Hagen with interest and decides to buy him. The man gives the dog several tablets. It turns out they were sleeping pills. Hagen ends up in his new home. The man feeds him food he previously added something to. After Hagen eats, he starts barking loudly. Our hero is kept in a cramped cage. With each passing day, he becomes angrier. He's being trained using a strap and a stick. The new owner gives Hagen an injection. The dog immediately feels very bad. He falls asleep. While he sleeps, the man sharpens his teeth. 
He takes a piece of raw meat and nails it to a wooden board. While Hagen tries to eat it, the man taunts him and prepares him for dog fights. We see that Hagen is no longer the good dog he used to be. Lily doesn't lose hope of finding her friend. One day she comes to the dog shelter. The shelter owner looks at a photo of Hagen and says they don't have such a dog. In the evening, the new owner takes Hagen to his first dog fight. He bets a thousand euros on his favorite. The fight begins. In the ring, Hagen almost finishes off the other dog and escapes at the right moment. He rushes down the road, trying to get as far away from this awful place as possible. Meanwhile, Lily asks the cute boy from the orchestra to take her to the club with him. So, she ends up in a place where adults have fun for the first time. Inside, Lily's friend asks another girl from the orchestra to dance. Soon, Lily starts feeling unwell and lies down on the floor. The club's security brings her to her senses. She's taken to the police station. Lily's father shows up and takes her home. The man suddenly starts crying and promises to get a new dog from the shelter for his daughter. But Lily says she doesn't need it. A new day dawns. Hagen meets the same dog who has saved his life several times before. They bark joyfully, as if telling each other their adventures and then hide together from the rain. Soon, they are found again by hunters who are hunting animals. This time, there are many more of them. Hagen is caught, and he ends up in a shelter. After a dog fight, he is left with several injuries, so he is separated from the other dogs. And there are actually a huge number of them here. The dogs are shown a cartoon about Tom and Jerry on the screen, and they watch with great interest. Hagen notices that in the neighboring room, one of the dogs is being put to sleep. Our hero is locked in a cage, with other dogs barking loudly nearby. During the day, people come to the shelter looking to adopt a pet. A boy likes Hagen, but the dog barks and lunges at him. The shelter owner decides to euthanize him. Hagen is taken to a cage where the most aggressive animals are kept. Meanwhile, Lily participates in her first concert on the big stage. When a shelter worker opens the cage with the wild dogs, Hagen starts growling angrily and attacks him. The cage is opened so other dogs also break free. We see that there are not just dozens, but hundreds of them. The shelter owner notices Hagen's muzzle is stained with something red, and she understands everything. She won't live much longer. The stray dogs burst out of their prison. No one will torment them anymore. Meanwhile, hundreds of stray dogs run through the city. Passersby scatter in horror. People lock themselves in their homes and hide in their cars. Those who didn't make it in time are attacked by dozens of hungry dogs. Chaos ensues in the city. The concert, in which Lily participates, goes successfully. The girl handles her part excellently. But suddenly, several dogs break into the concert hall. Lily realizes that among them is Hagen and wants to go out onto the street to find him. Her orchestra friend helps her leave the building through a back exit. She sets out to search for Hagen. We return to the moment we saw at the very beginning of the movie. Lily rides her bicycle, pursued by a pack of stray dogs. The girl pedals harder, but suddenly falls off the bike. The dogs pass by her and do not attack. Lily sees that she has scraped her knee. She gets back on her bike and continues her search. Evening falls. Hagen finds the restaurant owner who sold him to a street fight enthusiast and seeks revenge on him for all the abuses. Lily is still riding through the streets of the city. She hears barking nearby and notices red marks on the window of one of the shops. The police arrive and want to take Lily home, but the girl escapes from the car. She takes her bike again and continues to search for Hagen. She finds another victim of the aggressive dogs. It seems to be the same meat seller who didn't like them. The entire city police force rushes to destroy the mad dogs. Gunshots ring out. Some of the dogs fall to the ground. A curfew is imposed in the city. People are asked not to leave their homes. However, the enraged dogs manage to break into the former owner of Hagen's apartment. The dog cruelly avenges the man who turned him into a monster. The police continue the hunt. However, the number of stray dogs does not decrease. Lily returns home and sees that everything in her apartment is scattered. The girl screams in horror, grabs her keys, and goes to work at her father's place. Along with her, Hagen also runs there. And finally, Lily meets her friend.
But is this the same cheerful, compassionate dog she knew? No, before the girl is now a true wild beast. A whole pack of stray dogs appears behind him and Lily tries to escape from them. Suddenly, everyone stops. We see that Hagen is the leader of this pack. Lily calls her dad. The dog roars. The girl's father appears with a soldering lamp in his hands. Lily takes out her instrument and starts playing. The dogs stop barking. Hagen sits down and sadly barks, humming to his mistress. Other dogs do the same. Soon, all the dogs obediently lie down on the ground. Lily also lays down next to them and looks sadly at Hagen. This is the end of the movie. That's all for today. Subscribe and like if you want more videos like this.